One of the most important skills that each person should learn is to ask for what you need in direct ways. We all have needs. This is part of our human experience to have needs. There are basic needs such as food, shelter, safety, security, but then also there are more personal needs such as connection with other people, approval, uh, passions, joy, peace. So when we are children, this is our natural instinct to ask for our needs to be met. This is why babies cry when they need something. But then as we grow up and uh, our parents are often unavailable, they're emotionally mature or they have their own issues that they haven't dealt with, they are not uh, able to fulfill our needs or they don't want to. You know, there's different reasons for that. But the result is the same. We learn that our needs are not important or they're standing on the way of our connection with our caregivers. So we push those needs to the side. Just because those needs were pushed to the side doesn't mean that they stop existing. So the child learns to ask for those needs to be fulfilled in indirect ways. Uh, for example, being passive aggressive, manipulation, codependency, people pleasing, and sometimes even narcissism. So as an example, a person who is sacrificing their own needs for the sake of somebody else, and they're not really sacrificing their needs, they're meeting their needs by sacrificing themselves. Because if they sacrifice themselves and they put somebody else's needs in front of their own, they're expecting that their needs will be met in turn. Their needs such as um, being appreciated, such as being valued, such as being important, such as being cared for in different ways. Another example is that friend who is asking you how you're doing, but after you speaking up about having a hard time, instead of um, empathizing with you, they start talking about their problems because their um, question about how you are was only a way to get into the conversation to start talking about their own issues because they cannot ask for help in a direct way. And a very extreme example of getting your needs met in an indirect way is being sick. A lot of illnesses are uh, psychosomatic, which means that it's our mind and our emotions that are affecting our body. And if we have a um, uh, life that is full of responsibilities and we're very busy and we always put other people's needs in front of our own and we're exhausted and we need a break, but we're not allowing ourselves to take that break, then we may start getting headaches, migraines. We may start um, getting colds and flus and just getting uh, so sick that we're unable to get out of bed just because we need some rest. So you see, the needs are still there, even if you're pretending they're not, and they are going to be met one way or another. And if you're not meeting them in a direct way, if you're not able to ask for the people around you to fulfill your needs, if you're not able to ask yourself to fulfill your own needs, then you're gonna get in trouble. And it's not worth it, life is too short. So learn to meet your needs in direct ways.